Hi, I am here to introduce you to the Days Hotel EDI First Responders Program. I'm Lisa Cohen. I am a professor in organizational behavior at Days Hotel. I'm the director of EDI at Days Hotel. And most importantly for what I'm about to talk to you about, I am a first responder. So I'm going to talk to you really briefly about the program, what it is, why it exists, and how it works. So just to provide a bit of an overview of the program um, and, and here I'm going to share my slides with you. Um, the, the purpose of this program is to provide faculty, students, and staff, so you, with a clear place to go if you are to were to face any sort of equity issues, um, issues around social group membership, and those issues can, could be things like um, discrimination, if you if you experience microaggressions or or systemic racism um, or anything of that sort, any sort of discrimination. If you experience psychological harassment based on uh, uh, equity group membership, or if you experience sexual harassment, other forms of sexual misconduct or violence. And I want to emphasize, if you experience sexual violence, there is an office for sexual violence response support and education that you can go directly to. And that is listed on our EDI website. Um, so you should be able to find that easily. Um, if not, we can, as first responders, help you to get there. Uh, an overview of what we were trying to do with this program. It has been designed to make sure you, we handle issues in the best possible way, that we are consistent in our practice, is that there is a really human face, someone you can go to, someone who can answer your questions and can explain some of the processes and provide referrals. Uh, EDI resp first responders are not mediators, they are not investigators, counselors, or mental health professionals. But as a first responder, I can help you get to those people. I can help you find them. Um, what I can't do is take a formal report and, and what doesn't happen is that that this does not put the university on notice if you want to do that you need to to file a formal complaint and again you can find information on how to do that on our website or we can help you to do that um, we are six trained employees at Days Hotel, faculty and staff selected to represent um, the different programs, students, staff, and faculty. And really, we selected people who are in roles where they typically do interact a lot with faculty, staff, and students. Um, they may be people you've gone to informally when you face issues. Uh, how to access the program, very simply, um, if you're watching Watching this, you're probably on the EDI web page. Um, if not, you can do a simple search um, for EDI Days Hotel and you'll probably find it there. Um, once you're there, scroll down to where it says ED first. EDI first responders, click on contact a first responder. It's, it's a tab there. And then you can pick the person you would like to contact um, and, and their email will pop up and um, you can take it from there, offer a brief description. What will happen once you contact the first responder, if you were to contact me, I would do some quick initial assessment, uh, make sure it is what I see as an EDI issue, uh, and then make sure, um, figure out if I need some additional resources, if I am confident that I have the knowledge I need here, I will then ask you for a meeting, um, Zoom, uh, in person someday again, uh, on the phone, whatever is most comfortable for you. And at that meeting, I will talk to you about what some of your options are. Uh, in this meeting, what happens, first of all, you should know it is confidential unless there is some requirement legally that we need to disclose. We'll ask you some questions really aimed at figuring out how we can best help you, how we can support you, what you would like to happen in this situation. And then we will go to um, describing some of the options after that initial conversation. And those options are things like 
um, accompanied handoffs. Uh, so we won't just put you um, into another form or system, we'll, we'll help you. That might be to the senior equity and, and inclusion advisor who can provide additional advice, help you make that formal complaint, which will result in either investigation or mediation. And you can actually go to mediation without launching a formal complaint. We can also uh, refer you to the Ombuds Office or to the Office for Sexual Violence Response Support and Education, uh, OSVERS, uh, if, if that's appropriate. Um, if you're, you're experiencing some psychological repercussions of this, we can refer you to um, wellness and, or to ERAP if you're faculty or staff or you can make a decision that you don't want to do anything more. Uh, something that is important to realize here um, that, that while information is confidential, we will use the information to understand what is happening at Tay's Hotel and to identify any patterns to, to figure out if, if the EDI team needs to, to take some action to make things better. Um, so things like training or changing changing some of our processes. Um, with that, I'm going to wrap it up and, and make a pitch for taking a look again at our website. There's lots of helpful information there. Um, and to make sure you know that if you need us, we are here to help you. Thanks for listening to this. Bye.